Oh, it's LPS Treasure, or if you follow me on Instagram, you might also know me as Sakura Studios. And I'm gonna talk about my experience with making this head right here and the challenges I kind of faced making my own resin base. So for the audio quality, I decided not to wear the head and I was just gonna show it this way. So first we have this lovely base I made. It's definitely not perfect. You can see right here, there's some asymmetrical issues with the eyes, but other than that, generally I really like how it turned out has a lot of really good detail in there. And for this guy, I kind of went with like a forest dragon. So on this side, we have lots of foliage. We have these beautiful crystals all over the face. And then of course, just some more foliage over here as well and the two different colored eyes. So this guy actually doesn't currently have a name. So this top part is a resin base that I made. And I did that by using a mannequin head and putting polymer clay over it, which wasn't the best choice personally. I would definitely go with monster clay because polymer clay does kind of dry out and crack. So I made it all in one day. I'm hoping to get another pull off this base. I've only gotten the two, so that's why I'm not quite sure if I wanna sell this one yet, just cause I'm gonna have a very limited amount of heads from this base and I would like to eventually keep one. But this bottom jaw here is actually made out of uh, like a stiff foam. So it doesn't move, it's kind of on there and I furred over it, which is also why it's pretty angular. We have these beautiful glass eyes with some epoxy sculpt for eyelids. And of course I painted those eyes myself and they actually have a little bit of micro glitter in there just to give them a little shimmer. These ears are made out of the same stiff foam. We painted a nice little gradient on there. And then they are also furred and they're actually quite wiggly. They're just glued on. So I'm interested to see how those hold up over time. Oh dear, it's just kind of blowing the camera out of it, isn't it? Yeah, so this guy, I will say he does have pretty limited ventilation and vision because any resin fursuit head you have, obviously right here is gonna be your only really source of vision. It's a very narrow blind spot, which is really nice. There's practically no blind spot, but the vision is a little bit reduced. I'm still deciding if I wanna paint these black. I feel like with white, it draws less attention to it. But at the same time, I think black could also work. But yeah, this guy has a couple of really cool features other than the resin face right here. He's gonna have a lovely little zipper to get into him. And he is fully lined, which is something I really am glad I started doing with all of my fursuits. It's just this real cool like lycra stuff and it just feels really nice. It looks really nice. That way you can kind of wear it without you know, an extra covering, although you really should put something on in between this because the lining can't come out to clean it. So there you can see right inside of his head, you can see right into the base. But yeah, he does have a couple of cool features. So I'm not great with electronics. So I did a very simple mechanism to make his mouth glow. There you go. So we actually just have two finger lights and there's actually a strip of elastic that the lights clip onto so you can actually I won't do it for this video take the lights out but it's really easy you just stick your hand in there you turn them on and you can turn one on or both and it gives this mouth just and it looks a lot stronger in person but it gives it almost like a dragon light glow like he's gonna breathe fire or something but yeah, I thought that was a really cool feature it was actually one of the first times I've ever put any kind of electronic into a fursuit and given that I don't know a lot about them, I like how you can just take them out to replace the battery or to replace the lights. These crystals and these lovely little floral pieces are just craft pieces from Michael, hot glued on there. I think I'm actually going to go over the edges with a UV resin to just really seal them in because I did already have one fall off. And even though I used a lot of glue, like they're pretty on there. It's a resin head and resin heads are always gonna be a lot more fragile than foam heads. With my foam heads, I always say you can throw them across the room. They'll be fine. It's a foam head. Everything's hot glued in. The only thing that might pop out is the eyes because on my fro on my foam heads, I actually do have it so you can take the eyes out for easier cleaning. But with these guys, these lovely little glass eyes that I've really just kind of fallen in love with, I decided to go without any horns just because I didn't find any that I thought would suit the character super well, especially since I'm going for this dark forest dragon kind of look but working with a resin head was 
I've worked with a couple of my own making in the past and it's a fun challenge because there's not that give that foam has you know if you're sometimes if your pieces are a little tight you can kind of squish them over foam you do kind of have to worry about causing the foam to bend or like squish in a weird way so that's something to keep in mind but with these you don't really have to worry about it but at the same time you need to be very careful that it's resin it's fragile if you drop it it can break and you definitely don't want that I did decide against painting it because I liked the striking look of that black on white and I thought the green was a real nice thing but if you notice it has a lot of like speckles on it and when I cast it I actually mixed black paint in it and for some reason the paint didn't color it I think you need a specific resin dye to do that but as a result it came out with this nice speckles on it that I really think helps kind of pull everything together. So this is just a real quick overview of this suit, just me talking about it. I really wanted to get something up on the channel, see if there's still interest in me uploading on this channel. Uh, probably just some more fursuit things, maybe going back to doing live streams with me doing fursuits and whatnot. But yeah, just want to give you a real quick close look at him. Those floppy ears. And all the little details. I also plan to do another suit, but with a base I actually bought, so I kind of want to definitely do some videos talking about the differences between working with a base that somebody else made versus yours, and any challenges, or if it was easier, because realistically that is a higher quality base than this, since this was my first ever resin base that I ever made, is this guy. I've made a couple more and used them in suits, like the Goblin or the Gremlin fur suit I sold about a year or so ago was also made with a custom-made base by me, and then I had actually put epoxy sculpt over it to make those little bumps, dots, textures on it, as well as some extra little features. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble on about this lovely suit I finished. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, tutorials, or just talking about suits I've made, or another scrap fursuit video, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in purchasing a suit from me, you can find the link in the bio of my channel as well as the description of this video. It's going to take you to my Etsy shop, which is LPS Treasure. And right now I've actually got two suits for sale. I've got a demon goat, which is kind of inspired by another artist's kind of style. It's definitely a little more angular than my usual stuff, but it has great visibility. And then I also have a very traditional like dog fursuit. It's Yukon the Shiba Inu. And I think they're both real cute. And I'm actually hoping to have an anime styled suit up on my uh, store in a little bit. I'm planning to do an anime bunny, a kind of almost anime-esque cat, and then a lovely little gator. And I'm still deciding on the colors and that. So if you want to help me decide on certain suit things, I usually post uh, updates. And uh, sometimes I'll ask people's opinion on what they'd like to see in a suit on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching.